We receive lots of questions about our own personal nutrition and what we eat on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, we're far from the former athletes we used to be, but we are still trying to do our best. So join and follow us as we take you through a typical day of work, life, training, and how we eat around that. All right, well, it is just gone 6 a.m. I uh, thought I'd bring you along for a typical morning in my household before getting into work. So this morning I'm heading out for a bit of a run. Um, just a short one before then actually coming back and grabbing the old dog, which is just coming around here, Reggie. Hello. Um, and taking him up for a bit of a walk, maybe a little bit of a jog. Um, but given it's just a short one this morning, I'm just gonna have a little bit of water um, and then head out. If I was doing something a little bit longer, I might have a quick banana, something that I can just like quickly digest. If I was going for something quite long, I'd probably also take a gel. Uh, but given this is short, just nice and simple, I'm gonna head straight out for the run and then have some food when I get back before then rushing off to work. I've got a train to catch. Um, so yeah, let's get going. Okay, back from my run and a bit of a walk with Reggie. Most importantly now, get this guy's breakfast in. But I've got quite a quick turnaround here and my train's literally in 15, 20 minutes. So I'm gonna grab a shower. I'm gonna grab a snack probably for the go, just so that I'm getting a bit of fuel in. And I'm gonna have a proper breakfast uh, when I get into work. <sighs> So yeah, I'm a little bit like Mark. I tend to start my day with a coffee and a walk to work, and then I tend to have my breakfast once I'm kind of settled and hunger's really set in. Okay, so I'm in the office um, fairly early, um, and well, to be honest, the fact that I've waited this long to have my breakfast, I'm doing pretty well. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have a pretty large bowl of muesli. Um, it's a good slow release of carbs. Um, I've always kind of stuck to doing slow release of carbs. Um, so I used to have porridge when I had a little bit more time. Muesli is like, you know, pretty similar. Um, I have that with some milk for good protein after a workout. Um, personally, I drink quite a lot of milk. I know some people don't like that, but um, yeah, it just gets that protein in. I just feel like my body needs it. Um, but yeah, this will probably last me a whole hour and then I'm gonna need a snack again. So I've got pretty hungry now. I've been at work for sort of half an hour or so and um, come to get my cereal. So I've actually got some homemade granola with banana and today I'm gonna have it with hot milk because as you can see, I'm a little bit chilly. Well, I have always struggled to get enough protein in at my breakfast. It's something that I used to get told off um, by my nutritionist when I was a full-time athlete. So I make sure that I have milk in the mornings. If I'm not having cereal with milk, then I will have some eggs. That's my other favorite for getting the, the protein in probably a bit higher than that. And this, I've got oats obviously for slow releasing to try and keep me going to as long as I can. I normally have a snack soon after that, but it's a bit of fruit for the fiber and plenty of energy and bananas and um, obviously calcium in my milk. And then uh, my granola, I've got some nuts and some fruit and seeds and a little bit of honey and coconut oil, basically all mixed together and, and baked. Right, I'm off for some lunch now, absolutely starving. I've been waiting for the clock to pass 12 o'clock because I feel like 12 is sort of acceptable to head to lunch. Um, so I'm gonna go off for something fairly substantial, a good old jacket potato, baked bean and cheese. I'm going just around the corner to a little local place, like to support the local stores. Uh, one that Fraser and myself often head to, but today it's just myself. So off to see Tony. I got my jacket potato from good old Intermezzo. Um, so I didn't have any baked beans. Baked beans and cheese are one of my faves. So I've gone for tuna and cheese instead, which is, a, I'd say, a fairly good option. Uh, yeah, good 
filling meal, slow release of carbs, a little bit like my breakfast. I do always try my hardest to bring in some lunch, some leftovers from a meal before, but to be honest, I rarely have any leftovers um, and I'm just not very organized. So this is my next best uh, option here. Um, worth noting, I guess like before I had this job, had a little bit more time doing training and being at home, I'd often do something like poached eggs, scrambled eggs, um, and really take pride in my meals. So um, this isn't terrible, but I'd just like to point out, it used to be a little bit better. But now off to enjoy. It's always a little bit of an improvise when it comes to A, fitting training in around the day and B, eating. And I end up doing quite a few of short sessions and quite a few lots of little bits of food. So today is a prime example. Um, I've just managed to get 30 minutes in the gym. So now I've got the rest of my time to eat my lunch, probably at my desk. As you can see, this was the same as yesterday. It's already open. So I'm going for soup for the second day in a row, but doesn't bother me. Um, then I've got some rice cakes. These are always emergency if I do get hungry or lunch hasn't filled me up, but they're not on their own. Hang on, some more here. Um, I've got hummus, which will go with my rice cakes, either dipped in or spread on top, depending how um, arty I'm feeling. An avocado. Um, again, might be sliced, might just eat it with a spoon if I'm hungry or in a hurry. And then I, yes, I have a whole thing of butter. That's just kept in the fridge at work because I love butter on my bread, not on my rice cakes though. I have got some sliced earlier bread from home. It's actually from the bakery. Um, some sourdough rye bread and I love bread and butter when I'm having my soup. So it's kind of a little bit of everything um, that yeah, I'll basically eat until I'm full. Right, so back in from work after a little gym session and time to get some dinner in. I'm absolutely starving. Unfortunately, I haven't really got anything that gourmet for you this evening. We're kind of just using up what is left in the fridge and around the house. So here we go, show you. We've got some tagliatelle, we've got some salmon, we've got some pine nuts, which I'm gonna toast. We've got some double cream, which I'm gonna sort of whip it all up into. Um, and then a bunch of veggies and stuff because my partner's always having a go at me for not eating enough fruit and veg. I used to be very good, as I said before, but I don't know why, I've just kind of got on the wagon with it a little bit now. So um, yeah, I'm gonna whip all this together and enjoy. All right, more or less finished here. I um, may have added a little ingredient, some white wine. Fairly nutritious meal, I'd say. We've got some good level of carbs in there, some good nutrients from the veg, etc. Also some omega-3 in the salmon, which is an anti-inflammatory, which is pretty good. We are actually trying to eat a little bit more vegetarian these days, so I'm trying to not have meat in every meal. Obviously we've gone for salmon this evening, and I'm trying to get like chickpeas and things in, so get protein there. But yeah, I'd say this is pretty good for this evening, and that can be pretty well fueled. Okay, I must apologize because I've already eaten my supper. Yep, I filmed it and I couldn't wait any longer. So I've now just sat down with a little bit of a food coma because it was lasagna tonight with lots of lovely layers of pasta. Although it was a little bit different, it was vegan lasagna because I'm currently doing vegan Mondays. And as you can probably tell, it was left over from a couple of days ago. So still tasted really good. I cheated though, because I added some real cheese grated on top just to give it a little bit more kind of naughtiness, I suppose. Um, that isn't all I'm eating tonight. I'd already had a little bit of snackage because I couldn't wait whilst it was in the oven. And um, I might have some dessert, maybe a bit of yogurt or some fruit or something before bed, but I'm pretty tired as you can probably tell. So um, yeah, that's it from me for now. So there's a sample of our day-to-day -day eating. And as we've alluded to, they're far from perfect, but they are keeping us adequately fueled and healthy. So we'd be really interested to hear what you guys eat. Perhaps you have some nifty tricks or snack ideas that we could all benefit from. If so, drop them in the comments section below. And if you've enjoyed this video, give us a like and follow us on our social channels.